So in today's video, I wanna show you guys a very cool way to power all your little electronic devices, things like your laptop, computer, your cell phone, speakers, headphones, and more. If you're someone that likes going camping or you need remote power, I'm gonna be showing you guys this portable power station up next. Hey guys, my name is Jeff and on this channel I do all sorts of different tech reviews, tutorials and more. And if you've watched some of the other videos on my channel, you guys know that I love cool tech and gadgets. And today I want to tell you guys about this cool tech product. This is the Pecron Portable Power Station S200. And I got to tell you guys, I am really charged up to do this review. Do, do you see what I just did? there. So this little power station differs from what you might be familiar with, which would be a traditional little power bank. And these power banks are great for doing a quick charge of like your cell phone. They've got these little USB ports on them. But if you've got something a little bit more heavy duty, such as a laptop computer that has an actual plug, like a wall plug to plug in, this little power bank is not going to get that done. However, this power station comes with two AC outlets that you can uh, plug in your device says this guy will power different electronics up to 200 watts of power and I'm going to be putting that to the test in this video. I've got all sorts of different electronics here, everything from different lights to my GoPro Hero 9, even my DJI Spark drone and I've done some extensive testing so I can tell you guys how many charges I'm able to get out of these and if it's even going to power these devices and uh, if you stick around until the end of the video I even oh, have one of these Fender Passport portable speaker systems. This guy is a 150 watt sound system and I'm going to see if I can get it powered up and working from this little power station here. But before we get into that, I want to tell you guys more about this actual unit. So this power station was sent to me by Pecron for my testing as well as honest review information in this video. There wasn't any money compensation. And I also want to let you guys know that everything I'm talking about in this video, I I will leave links down in the description below. So let's talk about the power station itself. Uh, it's very lightweight. In fact, it's 4.4 pounds. Uh, very easy to pick up and move around with this carrying handle that's at the top. As far as dimensions, we are looking at approximately seven inches wide. It's going to be somewhere in the realm of being just under seven inches tall. And then on the side, as far as depth, you're looking at roughly uh, four and a half inches wide uh, as far as deep in the back. So very compact, very uh, nice casing. Unfortunately, it's not waterproof. It's not recommended that you get this wet, um, but the plastic casing, the light weight of it makes it very portable and easy to use. So this power station has a 193 watt hour lithium ion battery inside of it. But essentially what's nice about this battery pack is you don't need to put any fuel in it. There's no gasoline needed, such as a traditional gas powered generator if you needed power. So I wanna to talk to you guys about what comes with this power station. So in unboxing, this unit uh, it's first going to come with the main battery uh, the main unit itself and then it comes with several different cables the first cable is going to be this AC uh, adapter so that you can charge it up by plugging it into the wall uh, in addition to that the outputs that this has also comes with a particular uh, port which uh, will allow you to plug anything that's got a cigarette lighter port something like you would plug into your car, you can also plug that into this uh, power unit and power it using that. There's also a car charger cable that comes with this so that uh, when you do need to recharge this power station, you can plug this in while your car is running and it will charge this back up. And then it also comes with a, another cable right here. And uh, this is going to be used if you would like to charge the unit up uh, by using solar. Let's talk about all the different ports that are going to be on this power station. So first off, in the top, you've got a little uh, battery status 
this reader. Here's your power button. If you push that, that's going to light up. Uh, right now, this battery that's in this guy is at 93%. You've got several different USB ports that are on here. Uh, two 5 volt, uh, this is a 1 amp, and this is a 5 volt 2 amp uh, USB ports. So you can charge up devices with this. There's also a quick charge 3.0 port. This works. Now you need to have a USB quick charging cable that is going to be compatible for quick charging as well as a mobile phone that's able to quick charge. But this port allows you to charge faster than these other two ports uh, by using the quick charge. And then when I was telling you about the different ways that you can power this guy up, you uh, can either insert that AC adapter plug, that car adapter plug, or solar panel plugs uh, to charge this guy up using uh, those three different methods. And then as far as outputting power, you have uh, a uh, two different outlets here that will do 12 volt uh, 8 amp outputs of power on this side of the power station. As we keep moving around on to this side of it, uh, you can see that there is a fan that's inside. Uh, it runs very quiet. Uh, doesn't run all the time, but uh, occasionally will come on. And then uh, this has two 1 watt LED lights that uh, activate by turning on this switch. And I'll go ahead and turn that guy on. That is super bright. Uh, if you go on Pecron's website, because of going through all the stats with the battery, if you don't have any other loads uh, pulling power from this guy and you just wanted to use this as some sort of a night light and you turned this light on, it's going to last you up to 96 hours just using the LED lights on this power station. So that's pretty cool. Uh, on this side of the power station, gives you all the different technical information, everything that I've already started telling you guys about and then on this last side you have uh, a switch to turn on these AC power outlets and these outlets are great uh, if you're going to be charging things with a uh, plug that is going to be different from the USB ports that we were talking about on this side and then there are some rubber feet that are on the bottom of this unit which keep it from sliding around so if you're wondering about price regular price without being on sale this guy is priced just under $200. Um, sale prices uh, put it on sale just a little bit cheaper than that. And real quick, as we do in all the videos on this channel, we've hidden Tinker. He's our little hidden robot and he's going to pop up somewhere during this video just very briefly. If you happen to spot him, be the first person to let me know the timestamp or the amount of time into this video that you spotted him popping up and let me know that down in the comments section below. If you're the first person, you'll get a shout out of your name in a few Future video on this channel as well as your name added on our Tinker Forward Hall of Fame page. And a big shout out to Mercedes Legman and Lusa Chen, our latest viewers to spot Tinker in one of our recent videos. So if you guys are interested in getting power to this power station using solar, Pecron also sells the solar panels that you can use. Let's jump over to the computer and uh, on Pecron's website, they have the Pecron Aurora 1 100. It's a 100 watt, 18 volt uh, portable solar panel. And uh, yeah, as of looking at the website right now, um, they're actually giving a 20% off discount. So it's just under $200. And this solar panel allows you then to connect right into your power station. And that is going to provide the power to charge up your battery. Uh, when it's folded up, this is all in millimeters, but it's roughly about a foot and a half um, by a foot uh, as far as size and then when it's unfolded it's uh, about four and a half feet by about a foot and a half uh, so you can see in the picture here what it's going to look like but these solar panels will allow you if you're going completely off grid to charge up this uh, particular unit and then Pecron sells other power stations as well and these you can hook right into those and if Pecron is uh, interested in sending me any of those solar panels to test I'd be happy to do a follow-up review 
to uh, show you guys how those solar panels charge up this portable power station. Hey, and if you're enjoying the video or maybe you're finding this interesting, take a second right now, smash that like button as it helps out this video as well as this channel. So testing results from using my LG Gram 17 inch laptop, basically ran the laptop battery down to zero and then uh, had this guy fully charged up at 100%. Took about two and a half hours to fully charge my LG Gram 17 back up. This guy has a 9,450 uh, milliamps hour battery inside of it. Uh, it took this power station down to 17%. So you can get a little bit more than one full laptop charge if it's got a battery comparable to this. So like one and a quarter full charges on my my computer running nice and strong. Let's talk about cell phones. So a Google Pixel 3 phone, the phone that I'm using, uh, charged that up from just about 0% all the way up to 100 and that particular phone, that Google Pixel 3, actually has a 29, 15 milliamps uh, hour battery in it. And uh, that took roughly around 17% of this power station battery. So you can charge up a cell phone such as the Google Pixel 3 probably five to six times on a full charge. So let's talk about my Nintendo Switch console. To charge this guy up uh, takes roughly about 20% of this power station battery, which I was kind of surprised because this seems like it's got a bigger battery in it than uh, uh, even like my cell phone but uh, the fact that you can still charge this up then about five times on a single charge of this power station is great this is a uh, american dj mega par essentially it sucks 14 watts of power uh, so i actually did a time test uh, every 10 minutes that this guy is running it sucks three percent of this battery power so if you do the math you can run a 14 watt comparable light let's say you go camping or something like that uh, for roughly five and a half hours so also if you're going camping or uh, if you've got a use and you've got like an inflatable mattress that you're going to blow up you've probably got one of these little uh, inflatable mattress motors i've got it plugged in and powered on so so let's test this out. So if you're gonna use this for something like a little portable motor like this or a fan, you can definitely do that as well. So charging up my GoPro Hero 9, the battery inside this guy, to fully charge it up takes roughly 12% of the power station battery. So you can charge up about eight of these guys using all the charges on this power station. You've got batteries like this one that goes in the uh, DJI Spark. Uh, you can get uh, three of these guys charged on the charges from this power station. Okay, so this is probably a little overkill. I am very interested to see if this little guy is gonna power this thing. So this is a 150 watt uh, Fender Passport, 75 watts of power to each one of these speakers. I mean, we use this for small events, like uh, even wedding ceremonies, things like that. I'd be very curious to see if this is gonna hook up. So I am gonna plug this in. Let's give it some power. And oh, all right, so I got a green light. That is good. Um, I don't know how loud I really want this thing. Let's let's start with this. Let's give it some music here. Oh, look at that. Wow, I am impressed. This actually powers this sound system. Um, I'm interested to know how fast this is gonna suck the juice down on this guy. So I was able to run this sound system. Uh, I ran it for about 10 minutes and it drained the battery about uh, 12, 13%. Um, so if, if you uh, multiply that, uh, you know, you're gonna get uh, at least an hour's worth of time out of uh, running a piece of equipment such as this. Now granted, I didn't have it turned all the way up and it probably wasn't pulling the uh, max amount of power, but still, if you've got a piece of equipment that is comparable to this pulling 150, 200 watts, I'm honestly surprised that uh, it was able to hold up as well as it could, simply powering it from this little battery unit. And I've noticed that the fan on here is now going, I don't know if you can hear that, that's what it sounds like and it's pretty silent.
So I'm interested to know your thoughts about the S200 from Pecron. Let me know down in the comments section below. What do you guys think of this battery powered power station? And if you're interested in checking out other cool tech products such as this GoPro Hero 9, which I was talking about, I've done a review on that as well as talking about different accessories that you can get to get the most use out of your GoPro. That and more tech reviews are going to be linked uh, at the end of this video. You'll see a card popping up as well as there'll be links down in the description below. Hey, my name is Jeff. As always, I do appreciate you guys watching. I hope you had fun checking out this power station with me. Make sure to make every day awesome, and I'll see you guys in the next video.